Hello, my name is Andrew DeVito and today I'm going to talk to you about creating digital libraries in Wattpad. If we look at these two images here, they're actually excerpts from the Ontario Curriculum document and they talk about the reading section, uh, specifically in language and English. So the first one on the left here is from the Grade 8 curriculum and the one on the right is from the Grade 9 curriculum. And the reason that I picked these two um, sections specifically is because the overall expectations found in each of these grades is very similar to those found um, in, in other grades. So for example, the Grade 8 expectations are very similar to those in Grades 1 to 8, and the Grade 9 expectations are very similar to those in um, Grades 9 to 12. And if we look at what these expectations are asking, it's that students are reading for meaning. So they're, they're un demonstrating an understanding of the literature. They're reading with fluency. And they're able to reflect on their strengths as a reader. And one of the key ways for students to develop these skills is by practicing reading. And that's why this particular strategy is very important because it motivates students to read. So one of the reasons I selected Wattpad libraries as a strategy for using this web-based learning tool is because Wattpad has uh, a searchability to it that allows stories to be searched by genre or tag. And these stories can then be saved in students' personal libraries that they can reference at a later date. So having students read um, literature that is specific to their interests will help motivate them to read, which will then foster the development of those expectations I talked about on the previous slide. What I'm going to do now is actually head over to Wattpad and show you exactly how students can create personal libraries. So from the Wattpad homepage that I have here, students can discover stories by genre. So the example that I'm going to pick is action and then fiction. So all these stories have popped up and students can look and see, okay, which stories have other users found interesting? And the way that we can tell is by this rating here. So st stories that have high ratings are well liked by the community on Wattpad. We can also see how frequently a story has been viewed. So this one, The Best Friends Contract, has been viewed 1.8 million times. And we can read a short summary or description of that story. So once I've picked one that looks interesting, let's say Deal with the Devil, I can read that story. And I can go through it and I can read it. And as I go through the story, um, it's broken down into, into different parts. So I can read this first part, see if I like it. And if I do, I can click, sorry, I'm just gonna let this load here, continue reading. Now, once the students decided that they like this story and they would like to add it to their personal library, if they click this plus icon over here, they will add it to their library. So that check mark indicate that it's been done. Now over time, as I read different stories and as I explore topics, I can find artists or writers that I'm interested in, and I can find genres that I'm really interested in. And then going forward, when it comes time to find new literature, I can search for genre or by the authors in this topic. So we are okay is the author of this story. And by typing that in, I can see all the other stories that this individual has wrote. And I can see if, that, if some of these stories also interest me. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.